As you can hear in this video, sonar pings were captured underwater just outside of Rizal Beach in Agate. The friend he sent the video to was marine biologist and chief scientist Dr. Mark Dagos of the Hawaii Association for Marine Education. What he did was he forwarded, um, he wanted, well he was really upset about it, he said it's, I mean, you know, we can't, we haven't been able to scientifically prove that sonar, you know, causes that, but it's, you know, it's fairly obvious there's a coronate, you know, correlation between the pinging and then, you know, these whales running aground. According to dive captain Chase Weir, the noise was heard on March 23rd at around 9.45 in the morning. Uh, yes, yeah, several, several dive boats um, reported, um, other dive boats as well reported hearing the pinging, um, pinging along that whole Orodi Peninsula. Um, what the issue was is nobody necessarily felt different, but it's definitely irritating while they're diving because you can't really cover your ears. So it just made their entire dive uncomfortable. Some even came up early. This was the same day and around the same time, three beaked whales were stranded in waters off Marizzo. Two made it back out to sea with the help of local residents while one whale died. This is also the same day the U.S. Navy confirmed during an interview with KUAM that sonar was used during a military exercise. As we reported, according to Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts, beaked whales are associated with underwater sounds such as sonar, which have caused them to beach themselves in the past. Weir says the sound was not only heard underwater, and it wasn't the first time he has heard a sonar ping, having heard the same sound about seven times in the last several years. Not one of the first, we hear it occasionally, um, but this is definitely the loudest it's ever been. Um, and I've been out here for about seven years out on the water. It was so loud you could actually hear it from the boat, and I've never heard that before. That was the first time I've ever heard it from being above the water and actually hearing pinging coming out of it. So. It was, you know, it was, it was really intense. It's not yet known whether, in fact, the military's recent use of sonar is connected to last week's beaked whales incident. The results of the necropsy conducted in Hawaii have not yet been released. However, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration is working with the military to address the incident. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.